<laughs> hey. What up, YouTube? Uh, the Hi. real Josh Johnson 55. Shirtless with my ass and nipples. Oh, God, baby Jesus crying. I need to moisturize my nipples. This is a response video from Mr. Uh, Bannister and Mr. Kin, Mr. Kinsworthy. Don't eat over the computer. Uh, for their comp test. Dream contest giveaway celebrating one year at RBI Crew 7 card shop and 2,000 subscribers. Thank you. So, like the live the dream thing or Martin Luther King deal. What's your dream? Uh, you got a sub to what? AO Clubs, Peter, uh, Bronco Man 40, and Chevelle 210. He's got that. I'll link his video. He's got that in his description box with all the <clears throat> other rules and whatnot. Uh, I did that because I've seen AO Clubs. I remember him from 2010 when we were doing raffles and busting then. Bronco Man, I always see him in, uh, well, when your room was up. But, uh, God, who else? Josh, BB Express, he's always in there. Or that's where the other room I, I do see him. And Chevelle 210. You said he comments on your videos. That's good enough for me. You know I'm not too stingy. Golden man. But, uh, subscriber. Tells you to subscribe. Or shout out a YouTuber that has less than 100 subs. I'll do the same one I'm, I've been doing. Uh, Dopey. I've known him forever. I mean, the first first time we met might have been 03. Up here in Ely, playing some ba playground basketball, and then uh, gotten known well since then. Maybe oh two even. It's been ten, at least ten years. And uh, mom, I'm not mom. I'm dad. Okay. Hold on. You can wait. Eat your waffles. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I'll put his. Link below as well. W Grimm, G R I M M eighty eight. Uh, no, you hold on. You can wait. Uh, that he does a lot of the for sale for trade vids. I'm trying to get him to open up again. Most people aren't like me, so thank your lucky stars. Uh, he does a. I'm trying to think who he collects. Uh, uh, Thomas Jones, Viking stuff, like the AP Harvin type, same stuff as like Ryan collects. Uh, God, who else? Ricky Williams. Just anything that I guess catches his fancy too. There's some other things, and I think those are his main PCs. And uh, lastly, of course, what is your dream? Which, I don't know. I mean, there's, I wanted to meet a woman that would accept me for me. That was a dream I always had. It nearly cost me my life. Uh, found that. Found her. Because if she puts up with me and my videos and my trading card habits, she's a keeper. Um, to have a kid who... None of you know this, I don't think, but Naomi, who you saw earlier, uh, that was my dad's mom's name, and that's what uh, I would have been if I was a girl. That would have been my name, so I wanted to keep that in the family. I'm, I'm big on the family type name, so. And whenever Teresa spits out another one, like a Wisconsin Dells or a, what, Six Flags Water Park. <clears throat> that I want to have a boy, Dave Archer the Third. So that's been something I've thought of since I was about sixteen. So uh, I do want to go on a train through Europe and 
go to a lot of major sites of uh, World War II sometime within probably the next 10 years before I become decrepit and have like stubs for legs. Uh, I'd love to do that and just, I, I love that history of World War II. I mean, there, I, I can't get enough of it. I want to see every site, every battlefield. I want to, I, if, if get the chance to, uh, run into some descendants of some of the, not even the heroes, anybody that was affected by it, which again, in that part of the world, Germany, Poland, uh, France, Italy, Switzerland, the Eastern Bloc, which is all torn up now, like the uh, former Czechoslovakia, whatever, no, Yugoslavia, all that stuff over there, any of that stuff, and just hear stories, if you, even if you gotta have a translator, it doesn't matter, I just, I wanna, learning, learning firsthand and from somebody is a lot more uh, beneficial, in my opinion, than just reading from a book, and I, I love, love hearing stories of just anything that happened that, uh, of, I won't say great consequence, but something that, uh, I'm meaningful. Not like, oh, I bought this loaf of bread, it was a dollar fifty nine, even though the tag on the shelf said a dollar ninety nine. Wow, lucky me. See, that, that story sucks. <coughs> but to know, like, somebody's father, uncle over there helped. Some of the Jews escape like a, a concentration camp. That's something I want to hear. So I'd love to do that. Love to permanently move there. Not a big fan of the U.S. and pretty much where anything's going. At least being over in the Philippines would be warm and I could lose weight easily by just eating rice and noodles. Because I'm big. But, uh, and the, own a home someday. Again, prices up here, they're adequate. They're probably cheaper than where a lot of you guys are out there living, but, uh, a lot of the stuff up here is grossly overpriced because it's a tourist destination. And, uh, oh, we gotta jack the price up about twenty, thirty thousand. 30000 because oh the the mining mining boom might hit so own a house still something I want to check off European tour I'm, again I don't care about much of the sightseeing per se is like you go over there and see oh there's Big Ben and go to where the Eiffel Tower and all that stuff Paris would be fun because there's a lot of history there with the World War Two but for most of the stuff I just want to see the World War Two stuff I want to see. Oh, there's a pretty picture or something. I, who cares? That that just doesn't interest me, and that isn't a dream of mine. Another dream is to, uh, I don't know, meet a bunch of you, bunch more of you guys. I like you guys, even though it can be abrasive, like sandpaper, like wiping your ass with sandpaper. I like to just meet you guys and bullshit with you, hang out with you, and. Hopefully some of you have the same sense of humor I do, which, if you're a friend on Facebook, or even if you read some of my comments here, you probably just shake your head and say, Jesus Christ, how many drugs does he do, and how do I get them to take them off the street? But, uh, I guess that'd be it. I'd, card-wise, I don't give a shit about, oh, you, you got the Josh Johnson collection, or you got the... North cut or whatever you gotta have every card. I don't. That stuff, that's a hobby. As a, uh, I don't want to say it kills time. Cause time should never be killed. It should always be cherished. But uh, cards open up. I don't know so many avenues. I'm trying to word this correctly. And usually that takes a while because my brain is mush. Like applesauce. But. Uh, that. And I know Ryan and Neil, they're, they're cards of their life. And I, believe me, when I was younger, I wanted a card shop as well. I 
there's times I still think about that all the time, or I think about that, and I'm like, man, I should somewhat try to get in get the foot in the door. I'm like, ah. I don't have the personality of Ryan or the the likability of Magdor and Tyson. Like I said, I'm abrasive. I mean, I'm David Koresh. Another dated reference that probably... And rambling going on. But again, <clears throat> cards, that opens up so much more. And I've known guys, like I've told everybody before in my videos, for all eight of you that have watched, I've known people on like trading card sites since 8, 98, 99. A majority of the guys that I go to Nats with, I've known for 12 years now. 10, 12 years. And that's the only bad part about Nationals when you get... I got them all chill with. I got the YouTube people. I got the trading card site people. I mean, the, <clears throat> the time is only... You can only split up so many ways, but... For the, like, the cards the collection I mean whatever I end up with what is what I end up with that and not necessarily isn't the dream that I ever want to fulfill just because then there's always gonna be something else some other player to collect or something else to do and but card wise I always want to stay in it because I know it's a lot more than just cards Teresa somewhat understands that it's still a struggle for her to comprehend that all the people that I know because of cards but I've I don't know I haven't given up but I just basically don't tell her and it's like oh here's Nick's video oh Nick I like GSN Nick he's so cute <laughs> so so that's that's that rambling diatribe there but yeah down below several links Go check them all out. Go join this contest. It's going to take less than probably a third of the time I've burned up in your life. So, uh, good luck, Ryan. Congrats. I didn't see the opening last year because I was in a fucking ER battling viral meningitis for, what, three and a half, four weeks because the doctors in Ely couldn't fucking figure out what was wrong with me. Mmm, doctors. Let's go to school for eight years and not know what the fuck is going on. What? What? You can't hold down water or food? You have a pounding headache all day? You can't sleep? Light is sensitive to your eyes? Here, have some morphine. Hmm. Good job, doctor.